Throughout history, almost every civilization that kept written records reported sightings of strange objects and lights in the sky. Today, they're generally referred to as unidentified flying objects or UFOs. In the past 60 years, there have been thousands of UFO sightings all over the world. My dad is one of the scientists that would investigate them, Optimus. It's a fascinating subject. I find it strange that many people on Earth still refuse to believe they exist. How's it coming, Ty? It's done, sir. I unlocked the cybernetic seal on Dr. Onishi's microchip, decoded the encrypted information, and downloaded it. Well done. Now, let's take a look and see what we have. The indicated location is grid coordinates L3 Delta 5.2. It must have been important to Dr. Onishi, but I don't know why. This graphic is all I could find. Hmm. Perhaps it was the site of one of his archaeological expeditions. Hey, wait a minute. That's Castle Peak. My dad once showed me that photograph. Sixty years ago, there were eyewitness accounts of a UFO landing there. Which no one took seriously except your father. We'd better look into it. Ty, contact the Autobot brothers. They're on their way here right now. But to speed things up, I'll tell them to bypass headquarters and take the space bridge directly to the coordinates. I'll join them on their way there. And one more thing. Huh? As of now, we're on alert status. If that location was important enough to encode on the microchip, then whatever we find there could be dangerous. Come on, slow folks. What are you waiting for? Right behind you, big brother. Coming through. Listen up. Time may be a critical factor on this mission, so pedals to the metal, gentlemen. What's the rush? I thought this story about a UFO was just an old legend. Maybe, but Dr. Onishi isn't the time to believe in fairy tales. If there is a spaceship on that mountain, where do you think it came from? We'll find out soon enough. Let's move out. Wow, the view is just incredible up here. And smell that air. It's so nice getting away from the grime and smog of the city. I can breathe again. marked on the microchip. Let's spread out and... What's that noise? Oh, my aching back. Looks like somebody's digging down there. Maybe they're archaeologists. It could be that Dr. Onishi wasn't the only one who thought this place was worth investigating. Well, if they're scientists, maybe they can help us out. Excuse me, my friends and I are investigating reports of a UFO landing around here and wondered if you knew anything about well, it. That depends on who wants to know. Hey, come to think of it, your voice sounds kind of familiar. Have we ever met before? Oh. <laughs> That incompetent fool must have gotten his tongue caught in the drill again. Hey, get back to work! I think this is gonna hurt. Just my luck! Another vacation down the drain! <laughs> Just look at the size of that thing. It's gigantic! Looks like Dr. Onishi was right after all. Yes, Cybern, but what the Doctor didn't know is that the spacecraft that crashed here is from Cybertron. What? A Cybertronian vessel? Interesting. Six Autobots were sent to Earth 60 years ago and disappeared. Maybe this is why they couldn't make contact. This could be their ship! Let's find out. There are Transformers in that ship, and it looks like their pods are still intact. They've been suspended there for quite a while, Optimus. You think they're okay? Yes, as far as I can tell, none of their seals have been broken. They're still in proto-entity form like we were before we chose vehicles to scan. But as soon as we get them back to headquarters, we'll give them a lineup to choose from. Guess again, Auto Clowns. You're not taking them anywhere. We're the ones that found that spaceship, so whatever's in it belongs to us! That's right! Whoever finds a derelictable vessel has the right to salvage its contents. You can look it up! We would never let you take them, even if you were right. We are right! The salvage law applies only when a vessel has been abandoned by its crew. We're taking our fellow Autobots back with us. I don't think so, Prime. 
We're taking that spacecraft, pod people and all. No, Skybite. I'm feeling especially generous today. Optimus, you Autobots may do as you wish with the spacecraft. It's yours for the taking. But the Autobot crew members aren't part of the deal. They're mine now. Forget it, Megatron. Those are our guys in there. Not for long. <laughs> Don't worry, Autobots. Be assured you'll be seeing your friends again very soon. At the other end of a laser beam. <laughs> He'll have to land eventually. And when he does, we'll be there. Move out. You're not going anywhere. Shots for tongue lash attack. Hailblade slash. Dark sword strike. We've got to get past them to follow Megatron. Flying fist. <laughs> Attack. I've never seen that guy so angry. He's firing his whole arsenal at us. Don't talk, run! And whatever you do, don't slow down! We got what we're looking for. So now, all we gotta do is get out of here while we still can! Well, their attack served its purpose. Megatron is gone. I don't get it. We've got the microchip. How did Megatron know the ship was here? It's obvious, isn't it? He didn't need the microchip. He's got Dr. Onishi. Of course! But the Doctor only knew it was a UFO. How did Megatron know about the Cybertron? He didn't. Until the Predacons overheard me and contacted him. What have I done? <laughs> My decision to look for that shuttle has proven more fortuitous than I could have ever imagined. As protoforms, those Autobots can be altered and used as tools for getting rid of Optimus and his friends. But Megatron... They're Autobot soldiers. They leave the stasis pods and they'll attack us. Exactly. It's too dangerous. We should get rid of those pods right now. Let me do it. My freeze beam will turn them into ice cubes. Why should you have all the fun? I'll take care of those guys. You'll do nothing of the sort. If I had wanted those proto-entities destroyed, I would have done it myself. Ah. I have other plans for those Autobots. But they're our enemies. What possible use could they be? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I try to take a vacation, something always ruins it. It's not fair. On the other hand, the soldiers that rescued me after the earthquake are really cute. And I think one of them has a crush on me. <laughs> this could be a pretty good vacation after all. <laughs> yeah. Can you see the entire base? Let me wipe the rage. All right. Now what? Tell me what kind of military vehicles you see. Some tanks, some self-propelled artillery, and a few helicopters. Our protoforms will scan the most powerful vehicles, and within a few minutes, become the mightiest combat force this planet has ever known! But Megatron, what's to keep them from using their powers against us? As the Autobot protoforms begin scanning, I will infuse them with code from my own spark energy, and when they've taken form, they'll be mine to command! By the time their configuration is completed, they will be my loyal and dedicated servants! Invincible warriors! With your spark energy, they'll be unbeatable! Not to mention sneaky, sly, and deceitful! Underhanded, diabolical, and devious! And let's not forget <laughs> overbearing, egotistical, arrogant, conceited, and verbose! Bombastic, power-hungry, vain, self-serving, greedy, maniacal, and a real pain! <laughs> I knew I should've kept my mouth shut. The boss just doesn't know how to take a compliment! Be silent! Take the parts to the army base and start the scanning process! <laughs> I guess we can start with that one, right? Right! <laughs> What's going on? They're shooting at us! Megatron forgot to tell us about this part of the plan! <laughs> I should have known! From now on, I'll stay home and watch travel logs! I'm never gonna go on vacation again! <laughs> <laughs> Incompetent fools! That's precisely the type of vehicle I want the Cybertrons to scan! Dark Scream, stop running, you coward, and scan that vehicle immediately, do you understand? 
Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one they're shooting at. Megatron wouldn't allow those protoforms to scan anything unless he'd figured out a way to control them. What do you mean? The vehicles on that army base. They all have one thing in common. Their weaponry! That must be why Megatron is scanning military vehicles. Optimus, come in. I found them. They're at the McKinley Army Base and they're outfitting weapons there. Copy that, Ty. We're on our way. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I shall inject my spark energy into the protoform! Optimus Prime, Transformer! Decepticon? But he's an Autobot! What he is depends on the condition of his personality grid. If Megatron has altered it... Then he wouldn't think like an Autobot anymore, and he'd see us as the enemy. There's only one way to find out. My name is Optimus Prime. I'm the leader of our kind here on Earth. And in their name, allow me to welcome you to your new home. No thanks! <laughs> What has Megatron done to you? Ha 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 ha! You're wasting your breath, Optimus! He won't listen to you! He's a Decepticon now and loyal only to me! And very soon, now, the others will join him! Their firepower combined with my leadership will make the Decepticons unstoppable! You fiend! Mega Octane! Your fellow Decepticons will soon be joining you! If the Autobots interfere, destroy them! With pleasure, my lord! I am at your command, Megatron! The other Decepticons are going to start scanning now! Your mission is to make certain that the scanning process is successfully completed! I understand, sir! Consider it done! Take those stasis pods closer to those vehicles and begin scanning! It's showtime, guys! We've gotta stop them now, before they all become Decepticons! Right! Think again, Autobots! Get back! I'll hold them off! Take the parts to the vehicles and begin scanning! Megatron's plan is working perfectly! What are you waiting for, you fools? Don't just stand there! Get to work! Begin scanning! There's a good one! A tank will make a great Decepticon! That cannon will make Scrapolets out of the Autobots! We need air support! The helicopter's perfect! <sighs> Decepticon is gonna have plenty of firepower. That helicopter is on to the team. Skybites, why aren't you scanning? Get with the program. Find a vehicle for that protoform immediately. At once, sir. The vehicle with the most power will make the most powerful Decepticon. And so forget it, Skybite. Optimus, transform. Power stream. <laughs> you incompetent fool! What in the world are you aiming at? We only want vehicles. If that bird gets scanned, I'll have another Predacon to deal with. Oh, I can't look. A space shuttle Decepticon. Well done. Under my leadership, he will become a mighty warrior. Decepticon, transform. There's only one pod left. We've got too much firepower, Optimus. We'd never get to it in time. <laughs> so true. Oh, no! We're too late, guys. Megatron just grabbed the last pod. 
Yes, and soon the last of your fellow Autobots will answer only to me! I'm getting out of here as fast as I can! I didn't go to truck driving school for nothing, you know! Hey, Prowl, what's up with the tanker truck? You got me, I'd better check it out. That tanker is the one they use to refuel the space shuttle. It's loaded with 10,000 gallons of rocket fuel. Then we'd better hope that nobody uses it for target practice. Let's see the red man tanker. Yep, that tanker gets hit. The explosion will be so massive that everything within a 10 mile radius is gonna be blown to smithereens. Then that tanker is the perfect choice as the vehicle for the last part to scan. The energy in that rocket fuel will make it the most powerful Decepticon of them all. Behold, your mightiest enemy is about to take form! We've got to stop it from crashing! There's no time! We're too far away! I'm on it! Well done, Optimus! Thanks to you, I can now begin scanning that tanker! Now witness the genesis of your destruction! Transform! What the? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, he looks an awful lot like you, Optimus. That's because Megatron scanned me and the tanker at the same time. You are infused with my spark, but also that of Optimus. Are you Decepticon, or are you Autobot? Answer me! I have only one purpose, to serve Megatron. I have only one desire, to destroy Megatron's enemies. I have only one mission, to lead the Decepticons to victory. Hold on, Scourge. Who put you in charge? I was the first, so I should lead the Decepticons. Only the most fearless deserves that honor. Is that you, Mega Octane? No, I didn't think so. Well done, Scourge. From this moment on, you are commander of the Decepticons. The rest of you will follow his orders. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Decepticons, the Autobots are Megatron's enemies. They must be eliminated. Decepticons, it is time to prepare for combat. Transform! Yes, yes sir. Get ready. is incredible! What are we gonna do? There's only one thing to do! Fall back and regroup! Alright, everybody, move out! So much for that idea! Decepticons, switch to maximum firepower! Optimus Prime, battle mode! Scourge, you're an Autobot! Fight Megatron's infusion of evil. It's not who you really are. Why should I listen to you? You are Megatron's enemy, and the enemy must be annihilated. Decepticons, attack! Destroy them! Storm will not stop me! Scourge, that's enough! You've just come online! You're not yet at full strength! You can finish them off at another time! Understood! Optimus Prime, the next time we meet, you will cease to exist! I promise you! Decepticons, follow me! Yes, yes sir. sir! No! Wait! Try and stop me! Someday, I hope they'll find the strength to reject Megatron's evil, and find their own true sparks. But until they do, they're Earth's most dangerous enemies.
I hope you all have your resumes ready because we may be out of a job.